What up YouTube? Today, I've got something pretty dope to show you guys. This right here is the Hasselblad 500 CM. So a few weeks ago, I went into the camera store, tested this thing out, played with it for a little bit, and I literally just could not leave the store without buying it. If you just test it out once and you hear the shutter sound of it, I mean, there's absolutely no way that you don't love this thing after you use it for the first time. The 500CM is the second camera in Hasselblad's V series of cameras, which fun fact is actually the same series of cameras that they brought to the moon on the Apollo missions, which is just kind of a cool thing to know. This thing has to be one of the most well-engineered cameras I've ever used. All of the mechanics on it are just so smooth, it's so easy to load, and I mean, the best thing about it, in my opinion, again, is that shutter sound. I mean, listen to that thing, it's unreal. The 500CM is a completely modular camera, meaning that you can actually remove the viewfinder from it, take the lens off, swap out a new one, and you can even add different like film winders and film backs. So the film back that I have is a six by six medium format film back that shoots 120 film. It's an awesome film back and actually the size of the negative is like three or four, maybe even five times the size of a standard 35 millimeter negative, which means that it's gonna be much higher resolution and just be much higher image quality than a standard 35 millimeter film camera. Over the past week, I've actually already put about four or five rolls of film to this thing just to make sure that everything was working properly. I got two of the rolls developed already just to make sure that it was all good and it looks like everything is working perfectly. So what I wanna to do today is head down to Providence, Rhode Island to get a little bit of urban photography in with this medium format camera. But first, before we do that, let's get some film loaded into this thing. The coolest thing about this camera, in my opinion, is actually its viewfinder. It works like this. It's a waist level viewfinder that in order to frame up your shot, you actually look down on it just like this, which is super cool. The only problem with it is the fact that my eyes are not good enough to critically focus with it. So in order to focus, what you do is you have this little magnifier pop up just like that. And you put your eye up to it so that you can get your critical focus, but it's made me realize that my eyes actually aren't even sharp enough to tell whether or not it's in focus. So for now on, when I'm shooting with this camera, I'm always gonna wear my glasses because it gives me a little bit more peace of mind to know that my shots are gonna be tack sharp with this camera. All right, so the plan is to run around Providence for the next like hour or two and get some shots with the Hasselblad. I have one roll of Portrait 160 that I have like seven or eight shots left in that's in the camera right now. And then I also have a roll of Velvia 100 that I'm gonna shoot with as well, which is like super saturated, super vibrant colors. And that should actually work out really well here because there's some super colorful buildings that are actually on this road right here that I'm gonna try to take a couple photos of. The only problem with the Hasselblad is that it's actually a super slow camera. It's like really difficult to capture moving subjects and things of that nature. So the subjects I captured today might be a little bit different than usual, but I'm gonna do my best to get some solid shots. And so let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. I finished up my roll of Portra 160 and I put my Velvia 100 in here. So now what I'm doing is I'm walking around and I'm kind of going back to the spots 
that I shot earlier in the day, but shooting them on a totally different film stock to see how they come out. That is a wrap on Providence for the afternoon. I still actually have like six or seven shots of Velvia left in my camera, so I don't wanna waste those obviously. So I think I'm gonna go back to my apartment, get something to eat just because I'm absolutely starving. And then in a couple of hours, I'm gonna head back out and see if we can catch something for the sunset. I'll see you guys in a little bit. pretty low on time right now. I had to do a couple of chores just to get ready for the work week. So the sun is setting in about 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm gonna get out there and do my best with what I can. I'm actually gonna leave my video camera back here so I can focus on taking photos. But after I finish that up, I'm gonna wrap up all my film, send it out at the post office early tomorrow morning. And then I'll talk to you guys with all the photos in about a week from now. See you in a bit. It is finally time to wrap up this video. I know that I've been talking about it for like three weeks at this point, but it's taken me way longer than anticipated to wrap this thing up. When I'm working with film, especially when I'm digitizing it all myself, it takes me a hell of a lot longer to create these videos than when I'm working with digital cameras. And at the same time, I've been dealing with moving because I am, as you probably know if you've been watching the videos, I'm leaving this apartment. I'm actually moving out in like three days now, so I'm super excited for that. That's why I'm not in front of my desk like I usually am. I'm out here because my desk actually isn't even here anymore. But last time I saw you, I told you I was going out to shoot the sunset, and that sunset actually ended up just not panning out at all. The shots came out like garbage. The sunset was a complete dud, so I'm not even gonna show you those photos because it's not even worth your time. The one thing that you might have noticed and the one thing that I've been working on a lot is my color corrections of the film after I've digitized it. So it's actually a lot more difficult than I realized when I'm scanning my own film to get the colors dead on exactly how they would come from the lab. So you might have noticed that a couple of my pictures had like this green tint to them or the colors just seemed like a little bit dull or a little bit off and that's because I am just super unfamiliar with scanning my own film. I've been shooting film for a while, but I've never really scanned it myself. I've always paid a lab to do it, but I really want like creative control over the entire process, all the way from shooting the film to scanning it. I've yet to start developing it myself because I don't really have the time to right now, but I wanna scan it myself just so I have creative control over like all the colors and everything like that. You might have noticed that some of the colors were a little bit off, but it's just because I'm still getting used to that part of the process. So my thoughts on this camera, the 500CM after shooting with it for like a solid month now at this point, is that it's literally the most fun camera to shoot with ever, in my opinion. It has plenty of limitations, it's extremely slow to shoot with, and you can't shoot the traditional subjects that I'm used to shooting with a digital camera or even a faster 35 millimeter film camera, but the film scans that come out of this thing are just impeccable, and I love the quality that comes out of them. I've been scanning it lately at like a 50 megapixel equivalent file, and honestly, I think that I could probably push it up to like 100 megapixel scans, and I could just continue to zoom in on those files like crazy and not have to worry about it at all. The pictures are so sharp that come out of this thing. So finally, to wrap this thing up, thank you all a ton for watching. I know that a couple of you were waiting a couple weeks for this video to come out, so I apologize for it taking a little bit longer than usual. But let me know in the comments section below if you have any questions about this camera, if you have any questions about film scanning or whatever. I'm always down for some video recommendations or questions from you guys. I'm more than happy to help and answer your questions. Thank you all a ton for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up as always. And if you're not already subscribed, I make videos like this every single week. So hit that subscribe button below if you're interested in seeing more from me. Thank you all again for watching. I appreciate it big time and I'll see you next week. Peace.